Hi everybody, I'm Zaina from the Trial Creativity Lab and today we are going to be doing a tinfoil boat challenge. In this challenge, we are going to be using aluminum foil to design a boat that's capable of holding the most amount of pennies. In this challenge, we are going to be learning about three different things. Displacement, which is when you sit in a really full bathtub and the water around you rises so that it can make room for your body. Gravity, which is what we experience every day when we throw a ball up into the air and it comes right back down to us. And in this experiment, gravity is going to be, be determined by how many pennies we put on our boat and how much that weighs. And the third thing is buoyancy. Buoyancy is going to be determined by how much weight or how much water is moved by the pennies and the boat. So how much displacement is from the pennies in the boat. For this challenge, we're going to be needing about three materials. First things first, we're going to be needing some aluminum foil to make our boat out of. We're also going to be needing some sort of weight. I'm using pennies, but you can use marbles or something else that's pretty small and heavy. And the third thing that we're going to need is a sink, tub, or bucket that we can fill with water and use to float our boat. Alright, let's go on to the challenge portion of this. The first thing we're going to need to do is design a boat using tinfoil. Before we design, let's go ahead and brainstorm a few ideas. Think about the boats that you've seen, maybe at the beach or the harbor or something, or maybe even search it up on Google. Look at the similarities between them and what aspects of them make them able to carry that much weight. Once you kind of get a hand of how boats work and what is making them able to carry that much weight, go ahead and try to come up with some designs for your boat. It's okay to make as many as possible and just keep doing some trial and error until you get one that you really like and you think it's gonna do really, really well. When thinking of designs for your boat, it's really important to remember that the reason our boat is gonna float is the exact same reason that when we drop a really small rock into water, it sinks, but a really huge cruise boat floats on the water. The rock is heavy, but it only displaces a little bit of water. It sinks because its weight is a lot bigger than the small amount of water it displaces. A huge boat, on the other hand, floats because even though it weighs a lot more, it displaces a huge amount of water that weighs even more. So for my boat, I'm going to be starting with about this size amount of tin foil, but you can use more or less depending on how you want your boat to be. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fold my tin foil just so that I can have a strong base that my uh, pennies can float on. I'm going to fold it again just so that it's a bit stronger and I know that it's going to be able to hold those pennies. And the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and make the sides for my boat. So I'm going to just fold it over like that and keep doing that on all sides until they're all up. Now that I have my sides up on my boat, my boat is ready to do the challenge. So to start off, I'm just gonna go ahead and add penny by penny until my boat sinks. boat can carry about 61 pennies and the reason that it can float is because the gravitational force or the weight of my boat in pennies is less than the buoyancy force or the weight of water moved by my boat in pennies. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you had an amazing time designing and experimenting with this challenge and let me know how many pennies you were able to fit in your boat. Thank you for watching and see you soon.